Hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the conditional statements if, else, and else if, and then I'll walk you through an example of how to implement each of these statements in MATLAB. Let's get started. Before we jump into MATLAB, let's take a look at the structure of the if statement and a flowchart of the if statement on the right. Flowcharts are super useful for documenting the paths that a program can take. So we start the program with some sort of input, and we evaluate this input using a logical expression. This logical expression is going to consist of one or more of these relational operators, such as less than, greater than, or equal to. And if this logical expression evaluates as true, then the program will execute one or more statements and then end. However, if this logical expression is false, the program will just end. So here's a flowchart of the example that we're going to work in MATLAB. And in this case, what we're trying to do is take an input grade, in this example 65, and if this grade is greater than or equal to 60, if that's true, we will know we have passed the class and the program will end. So let's go over to MATLAB now and implement this. So we're going to start off our program by entering a numeric grade and we're going to store it in a variable called grade because that just makes sense. So here is our variable name and now we're going to assign it a value and you can assign it anything that you would like. In this case I'll choose let's say 70. Then I'm going to add a semicolon on the end of this line to suppress the output. And next we'll move to implementing our if statement. So we say if our grade is greater than or equal to 60, this is our logical expression and the greater than or equal to is our relational operator. So if the grade is greater than or equal to 60, then we're, we want the program to display that we have passed the class. So we're going to use the display function to do so. So in this case, we'll display pass, and then we'll end the program. So this is how this would read. If the grade is greater than or equal to 60, then display pass and end the program. If that logical expression evaluates as false, the program will just end. So let's run the program and see what we get here output to the command window. So I click run and we get pass and that is what I would expect because my grade was greater than or equal to 60. Now let's go back up and change this input grade to something less than 60, let's say 55. And now we rerun the program and you can see here that nothing happens and that's because there's only one path that the program can take to actually evaluate a statement. So since the grade was not greater than or equal to 60, the program just ended. Now, hopefully you can see here that one of the major limitations of the if statement by itself is that we only have one path that the program can take. It would probably be preferable to have the program tell us that we have failed the class rather than just ending and not really displaying anything for us. So this leads us to the else statement. So here is the structure and a flowchart of the else statement. So again we start our program with an input and evaluate that input with a logical expression. And if true, statement group 1 is evaluated and the program ends. Now unlike the if statement, if this logical expression is false, a second statement group can be evaluated before the program ends. So now let's look at our flowchart that we're going to implement in MATLAB. 
Now in this case, we start off with a grade again, and we're trying to determine if we have passed or failed a class. So we evaluate this input based on our logical expression, and in this instance, our grade of 55 is not greater than or equal to 60. So since that is false, our second statement group is evaluated and the program ends. So let's return to MATLAB and revise our program to implement the else statement. So the purpose of using the else statement is to add a second path that the program can take, and this ends up being really easy to implement. So right now we have if the grade is greater than or equal to 60, then we want to display pass or else if that logical expression is not true then we want to display fail and that's actually it so now the program has two different paths to take based on this logical expression and if it evaluates as true or false so right now we have a grade of 55 input into our program so let's run the program and we see that great it does say fail and so this program is working correctly now while this is much more desirable than just using an if statement alone what if we want to have more than one logical expression so for example it may be more desirable to show the letter grade that we have received in the course however we would need to use more than one logical expression to find out what letter grade that we have received. And this leads us to the else if conditional statement. Here is the structure in a flowchart of the else if statement. The benefit of using an else if statement is it allows us to use more than one logical expression. So we start off our program again with an input and evaluate it with logical expression 1. And if true, then we evaluate statement group 1 and end the program. Else if logical expression 1 is false, then we evaluate logical expression 2. And if true, then we evaluate statement group 2 and end the program. Else logical expression 2 is false, then we evaluate statement group 3 and end the program. So now we can see a flow chart of implementing the else if statement in the program that we have been working on. In this case, we're going to use multiple logical expression to determine the letter grade that we have received in the course instead of just saying that we have passed or failed. So now we have multiple paths that our program can follow. So again, we start with a, a grade as our input. We evaluate it with our logical expression. And in this case, it is not true. The grade is not greater than or equal to 90, so that's false. And we move on to our second logical expression. Now, in this case, the second logical expression is also false, and we move on to our third logical expression. Now, finally, our input grade of 72 in this example is greater than or equal to 70. That is true. So we have received a letter grade of C, and our program ends. So let's return to MATLAB and implement the else if structure. So we're going to have to modify our program quite a bit to implement the else if conditional statement. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. I'm going to erase our if and else statements that we used previously. And now we're going to have multiple different logical expressions, not just one. And that's because we have several different letter grades that we want to be able to assign based on our input numeric grade. 
Okay, so we're going to start out with our first if statement and our first logical expression. So if our grade is greater than or equal to 90, then we have received an A in the class. Else if our grade is greater than or equal to 80, this is our second logical expression, then display that we have received a B in the class. Else if our grade is greater than or equal to 70, then display that we have received a C in the class. Else if our grade is greater than or equal to 60, then display we have a D in the class. And that's going to be our last logical expression because if none of the previous logical expressions are true, then our only other option is that we have received an F in the class. So I'm just going to use an else statement here because we only have one other option. And we'll display an F. And then we will end our program. Okay, so right now we're going to click run and you see that we have an output in F to the command window and this is because the numeric grade that we entered at the beginning of the program was a 55 and so that is less than or equal to 60 our last logical expression and so yes that did result in an F in the course. So let's change this input grade here to let's say a 72 and rerun our program. And we see that, okay, great, our program appears to be running correctly because we have a C in the course. All right, that's it. I hope this video provided you with a good introduction to the conditional statements if, else, and else if and how to implement them in MATLAB. Thanks for watching. You can find me at David Calamus on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. If you liked this video and would like to see more, subscribe below.